Bloody ripper. Yeah. Hey folks, this is the coffee bush kid. This time we're in Shropshire. See this hedge line all the way down to those stables, those trees all the way along that hedge line. There's horses. And back up, and we're back up, and we're coming back up towards us. Well, as my first best find, what do you think it is? That's right. I reckon we've got ourselves a button, but look at that, that's a pretty button. Uh, I reckon it's a button, because I don't know of a coin, oh, there we go, it looks like that, there we go, we've got a shank on the back, oh we've got everything, it's, looks like it's a Let's put it up there. Looks like it's a two-piece job. Looks like it might have writing on the back. But, I better clean that up. That looks like shells or something. It's a very nice design. Back within a tick. We are back. Look at that. Look at that for a button. Never found one like that before. That's a little ripper, that. There is writing on the back but um yeah the front's a hell of a lot better anyway that is a pretty little button anyway enough of this button talk we will move on here's one of those cool little personal finds way down there so we're, we're talking a good eight nine inches i got that tag On the back of that tag, we have T. Chetwood, Elson. Now, I think Elson isn't actually far away from where we are. So, that's a pretty cool personal little find. We know whose tag it belonged to. That's pretty cool. All right, we'll see what else is hiding in the ground. We've got a big, ugh, deep hole. There you go. For a big square nail. That's a thumping doozy, isn't it? Alright, keep going. Big hole. Little pistol shot. Just a little fella. I think it's been dropped. Certainly doesn't look like it's been fired. Anyway, we'll see what else is hiding in the ground here. Well, it's getting late on my first afternoon here. I have already found one of these. This is the back end of a pewter spoon. Uh, yeah, that, that dates it reasonably old-ish. Sort of 1700s, early 1800s. Anyway, they're always a cool find. We found it, let's keep going. All right, here's an interesting one. Uh, 1516, let me get that. Now, that's round. 
I think it's two round for a Roman coin. I don't know whether it has had a shank there or not, and it's just a button. I just don't know. But maybe that does look like a bloody shank end. Or is it the likes of a bloody half farthing, third farthing or quarter farthing? I don't know. Never found one before. You can almost picture that there's a bloody monarch's head there if you have a bit of bloody imagination. I don't know. Anyway, you've seen it. We'll put it in the pouch. We'll carry on. And down in that hole. Oh, hey. We pulled out a little draw pull. Might be start of the 19th century, something around that. It's just a, another little find of human bloody habitation around the area. Mind you, around this area has been inhabited since Bronze Age, maybe Neolithic. So it's a late find, but we found it nonetheless. Good 16 signal. And there we have it. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to put this one into the annoying section of I don't know. For all the world, that looks like a Roman coin. No detail. They come out crusty like this. You can sort of almost imagine you can see something. It's irregularly shaped. It's thick and crusty enough to be but I don't know whether it is. But if you told me it was, I'd probably believe it. Anyway, we'll see if we can find a better one of a Roman coin, if in fact it is. And then I'd really go and say, yeah, that's one of them as well. Anyway, we'll keep going. Oh, from out of that hole, at uh, about eight inches deep, I could well have got the find of the field. That's that. And you go, hmm, that's a buckle. Yes, it is a buckle. Looks, looks a bit different, but similar to everything that I usually find. Except, see how it's actually curved? Now, I don't know whether that is a what they call a knee buckle whether it could be off the hat but where that thick part is there it would have had the they call, i think it's a chapin clasp or a chapin tongue or a chapin catch or something that went in between those two bits there but that is an old buckle that's that would be 1700s i've not seen one like that on anyone's show. I reckon that's a buddy ripper. That's a really nice little buckle, that one. A lot of history in that. And it's so good and thick and utilitarian, which is what I really love. You can have tiz and fizz, but, you know, a good, solid, sturdy buckle that will last the years. That's what you want. That's a ripper of a little find. Very, very happy with that. We'll see what else is around. An 11. There we go. Yes, it's a four hole button, but that is a pewter four hole button. It's got a beautiful patina on it. I thought you needed to see that. It's just a lovely, good plain button. Well, I must have hit the but buckle section of the field between these, where are they? Those two oak trees. I've just got a steel one that I didn't bother showing you, but I've got this little ripper. Now, the lady at Detectable told me that these are Scottish sweetheart buckles or something. Because they're sort of nearly heart shaped dish. But that's, that's an old one. Like it hasn't been snapped at the back. It's not a spectacle buckle. So, yeah, unusual little shape. We'll put that in the finds pouch and keep going. Yes, 
a button, but look at this one. Uh, that way. I reckon that's a unicorn, a shield. Don't know what's on that side, whether it is a buddy lion or I don't know. Maybe there's a crown up on top there. It is an old button, it has been gilded on the back. But yeah, unusual. All right, we'll keep going. I'll give you a little hint as to what gives a really good signal. That'll do it. afternoon out and there's permission fairly deep hole there probably I don't know seven inches and we got that that is one of the locking nuts off the handle of a handsaw so the whole thing's broken this has fallen out and that's the nut that would tighten it all up and stop the blade from moving nice little human find that one well Somewhere around here, someone was pretty buddy rough on cutlery. There's another one. Well, that might actually have some writing on the back of it. Yes, it does. Maybe we'll get to see what that is near the end. Well, I did find this one ages ago. So that's just a horse harness buckle. Been finding those in Australia, no worries. But that... That is a nicer, older horse harness ring. Not quite sure where they went, but you can tell by the patina on that one that that is an old one. It's not medieval, or I don't believe it to be, but it does have some age, it has some wear, and it's just a pretty ring. I'll keep going. And a walk around, here we are underneath one of the oak trees. First major coin find. There we go. And that is a young Vicky and she's got nice patina on her. Look at that. That's beautiful. Now then, what are we looking at? 1861. That is a really, really nice patinaed coin. That's beautiful. That's our first decent one. Oh, that's great. See the ship beside Britannia, you see the lighthouse beside Britannia. You see the waves in Vicky's hair. That's a beautiful looking coin. We'll take that and we'll keep going. Well, I got a 
oh what was it 22 24 signal yeah the wind is in a really bad spot filming's not great but we can see down there oh actually i could nearly do this i reckon if we played the game of button or coin i think coin could nearly win on this one so let's oh, i reckon there's a milled edge on that ah george the third you ripper What have we got? Oh, it's hard to bloody see. 18. Is that 16? It is. 1816. That'll be a sixpence by the size. Oh, isn't that a bloody ripper? Oops, there we go. That's a nice one. Was it 18? So the 16 or 18? Yeah. Oh, that's that's great. Finally cracked a silver. Two coins in a row, and they are. Oh, that's the tree that I got the the penny by. There's the one I'm working towards. So. Oh. A bullhead sixpence. Bloody ripper. What else is there? Now, apologies for the wind. It's pretty bloody hard to film. But how's that for a nice piece of fancy work? They almost look like claws. You've got beautiful brass work on it. And not only is there a chain, but there's a loop there as well. So this was worn. But yeah. Very flash and fancy. Well, at about four inches down, I got a good 21, 22 signal. And there it is. Well, if we do that, there it is. A bit of a Vicky Penny. Oh, another one. Look at the buddy patina on that. That's glorious. Is that in 61 or 67? Sixty-one. So two 1861 pennies. The other one. I got between those two trees. Glorious sunlight, isn't it? So there you go. Two in really nice nick. Both 1861. You wouldn't believe that, would you? Anyway, thank you very much, Joanne and Russell, for the permission. I've been very lucky to be able to have this. Keep me sane a bit. And uh, I found some really nice stuff. So keep in mind... Always good to fill in some of your day detecting. Remember to fill in all your holes when you're finished. I'll catch you next time.